like we got on the topic of uh of botted streams and where they come from on spotify right um yeah and usually the top countries are or not, i mean the top places because i think it goes by city is like buffalo frankfurt germany um where else well, so here's the the thing with that. It's it's really any city that has a large data center. That's why, like, think if you get a VPN service, the cities that it offers to you, you know, like L.A., Austin, um, you know, Boston, Atlanta, right. any city that you're going to, you know, even in, a, you know, Toronto. I mean, it's any large city that has data centers in it. That's how they're able to provide that service. So without fail... Fake plays always come in from one of those cities, others right. more than, you know, not. And genuine plays obviously can come from those cities, too, because they're giant and, you know, real people live there. But it's an interesting crossover that if you were to compare verifiably fake data, it's always from one of these data center cities. It's never from, like, some small town. Like, for example, here where I live, there's only 400,000 people. If you got uh -huh. plays coming in from Savannah... I promise you, they're they're genuine to some extent. If they're in Atlanta, you have no idea until you dive a little deeper. So, right, yeah, definitely. And do you know, like, if we look up the population of Buffalo, and then we go and look at <laughs> the listeners, how many listeners that some of these artists have that's clearly fake from Buffalo? It, it's actually kind of laughable. Right? It, like, it it is, yeah, and it's like at a certain point, actually, too, cause, because this has been going on so long. I have to ask myself as an artist, what's laughable to me at this point is like, do you not, people see what you're doing. It's like the most common thing that you could look at to distinguish what's going on. And right. I feel like the silly part now is becoming as the customer or consumer or deliverer of the product, you know, the music, um, maybe just don't do that because it's a bad look for yourself. Like at the very least that like, I don't really care anymore. I think you've, you've learned that, I kind of I kind of don't like Spotify. They're not my favorite company on the planet. And at this point, I've just kind of accepted the reality of whatever is. And as an artist, I don't want to do that to myself mainly because I don't want to argue with people or try to justify my work. And it's like, I wish people would just think about it more as their image rather than promo or streams or whatever. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the music. You know, do you, you know your your music deserves more than that. Right. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, looking up Buffalo's population, it's only 256,000. Yeah. Um, so yeah. <laughs> when you have 83,000 monthly listeners from Buffalo and, you know, that's yeah, it's a big red flag. It is. Yeah. And then also, I mean, I've seen people that have like national radio time in cities where they're getting rotated on major stations. They're getting film syncs and stuff. They're like actual up and coming artists. They'll even be getting plays all throughout like New York and stuff. And if you look at their Spotify's, you know, you can see those cities are having a major effect. Even so, they only make up like, I don't know, 30 percent of their listener data, you know, so even giant right. cities like that, it doesn't it's definitely more diverse for sure. Right. And like even if you are from Buffalo, like if your hometown's from Buffalo and like you're kind of making a, even if you're like, you know, in the club scene there or if you're playing shows in Buffalo, it doesn't even make sense having eighty six thousand or ninety thousand monthly listeners from from that city in the first place.